Eventually all our forest is gone. If you look at the satellite images, there are still some little patches of forest in the western region. But majority of the forest is actually gone. Civil society for me play a vital role in forest governance or management. They are in touch with the forest communities. Well, you have the decentralized departments of government, but they don't really get down. I think there's a gap, and the civil society actually fills the gap. For us as CICOD, with the organization I work with, we see another civil society, the invisible civil society. We talk about the various institutions, like the ASAFO traditional institution, that has a definite function in the community. And we believe that these institutions are the res responsible organizations that ensure that the forest is protected. If there's a fire outbreak, they are the people that go and put off the fire. You talk about the hunters group, you talk about the women's associations. The women go into the forest to pick firewood. And for them, it's important for them to maintain the forest. These invisible voices need to be brought on board when you're talking about forest governance.